Hello and welcome. So last week we have made a three video series of the customer satisfaction dashboard. In that we covered the theory of what it is the CSAT and NPS and we have the detailed video about how we can get the data, transform data and then develop the report of NPS. So we missed the calculation of CSAT. So it is both of them are similar but even though I thought it is good to have the same calculations into that project as well. So this is going to be a fourth part of that project. So let's begin. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So just to remind you, this is the formula of it. And basically what the companies do is they are going to send a single survey which has how would you rate your overall satisfaction with the goods or services you received. They are going to have these five options and out of this they are going to select whatever they like. Right? And the formula for this one is number of satisfied customers of four and five because this is going to be a only five options. So four and five divided by number of survey responses into 100. That's the percentage of satisfied customer. In our example, as, as of now, we don't have that data. So what I will take, I will take the overall satisfaction column from the same data itself. So let me show you the data. Yeah, here is the one, right? So let me zoom this. So we have this response date, unique ID, country and everything. So in the source type, I mean in survey type, we have this much of survey types, communication, industry, expertise, innovation, overall satisfaction. So what I will do, I will take overall satisfaction for C SAT calculation, customer satisfaction calculation. And then instead of taking four and five, like we have seen in theory, what I will do is uh, if I multiply it by two, then I will take eight, nine and 10. So these three survey result into the consideration of using 4 and 5. Instead of 4 and 5, I am going to use 8, 9 and 10. Right. So for that, we need to use the calculation. But you don't need to worry about that because these things are going to be a similar in type. So I'm going to use the same thing now. Now, let's open a formula. This is what I have written. So I hope this is easily readable. Okay, so first of all, I'm declaring a variable csat count where I'm going to use the calculate is just count. Just count is just a number of the count of whatever the value we have. And I'm applying a filter. So it's basically NPS survey type equal to overall satisfaction, which I have just shown you now. And then I'm going to use the survey result in a DAX function 8, 9 and 10. So I'm going to take 8, 9 and 10. So this is going to be captured in a variable. And then I need to take all the survey total count. So satisfaction four and five and overall satisfaction. So if you look at this one, so four and five is nothing but what we have done eight, nine and 10 and the number of survey responses. So for survey responses, we had to take all the survey responses in overall satisfaction alone because in the sample data, we have a lot of number of survey type. So I'm going to use only the overall satisfaction for our calculations. So if I'm declaring the same thing in a separate variable, it's calculate just count. I'm removing all the filters in the NPS table and I'm just filtering it to be overall satisfaction. So by doing that, what happens is let me just return this alone for C all count. So commit now. I'm going to add a card visual drag and drop to the bottom of the page just to visible it clearly zoom a bit and adding this percentage C set percentage into here. So I just need to change it to a number. By default it's going to be a number. So this is whole number. So totally it says 15,000. Let me just change the data label to none. 15,130 survey results are there. So out of that, if we take just 8, 9 and 10, then it is all 
this count sat c sat count it actually has i think around 12305 records or positive signs so now we need to divide these two things right in order to get the percentage so divide c sat that is 12000 divided by 15000 so if you do so we get around 1 so just need to convert this into percentage so selecting this measure and click on the percentage symbol this will convert it into percentage okay giving it a two digit extension i mean decimal for this so 81.33 so that's a good sign 81.33 overall satisfaction result has come up for this one so as we have seen in the theory i think it's around 60% is a good result and still it it depends on the industry to industry right so this is how you can able to calculate the c sat formula when you are creating a customer satisfaction dashboard so that's it the four part series and we have completed the customer satisfaction dashboard we have other dashboard as well like sales analytics and the gold history and also the hr dashboard and this is going to be a fourth one so if you haven't seen that just check out that video as well i have added all the report details and what are the features i have used in this project and also separate video for all those things in this video descriptions so please go and check out that as well if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video